News of a bureaucratic wrinkle straightening out. Finally, common sense prevailing, and it's great news for thousands of Louisianians. Immediately after the 2016 floods, FEMA officials told Louisiana residents affected that low-interest small business loans could help pay for their recovery. But what thousands of homeowners didn't know is that that loan would disqualify them for grants under the Restore Louisiana program. A loan is not a grant. A homeowner should not be penalized for doing the responsible thing by applying for an SBA loan to try to speed up the recovery effort. Though with Louisiana's delegation on Capitol Hill among the hundreds green lighting the fix to nix that so-called duplication of benefits blockade, some 6,000 Louisianians once ineligible for Restore Louisiana dollars could finally be getting themselves a grant. We can't do away with the flood but we can do everything we can to bring those families back to where they were before the flood. Aiming to bolster chances of passage, lawmakers wrapped the fix into the same legislative package meant to keep planes flying. The item reauthorizes the Federal Aviation Administration and gives $1.7 billion to areas hit by Hurricane Florence last month. This certainly changes the way disaster recovery programs are administered all across our country and I think is really a much fairer approach to those homeowners that deal with so much. The legislation now goes to President Trump for a signature. From Today, there, I'm Governor John Bell Edwards plans to file a waiver asking the White House to release the dollars. If and when that happens, and we're optimistic, uh, you're going to see us move forward very quickly with the Restore program uh, to make sure that those homeowners are receiving the um, community development block grant funding uh, under that program that they have been denied thus far. Anticipating the move, the governor has reopened the window for homeowners to file for Restore Louisiana grants. They now have until October 19th to complete an initial 15-minute survey and until November 16th to apply. For your local election headquarters, I'm Harrison Golden.